தப்புமே இல்லாம ஆண்டவர் அழகா நடத்தி போனார் அப்பதான் இந்த அக்கா அந்த வல்லமே வசனத்துல இருக்கிற வல்லமையில ஆழம் ஆண்டவர் புரிய வச்சாரு அந்த ஒரு வசனத்து நிமித்தம் அப்படி நிறைய வசனம் நம்ம அந்த சூழ்நிலைகளை போடும்போது அந்த வசனம் இயேசுவா இருக்கிறபடினால அந்த வசனம் நம்மள வந்து வெற்றியான வாழ்க்கையை தான் நமக்கு கொடுக்கும் சூழ்நிலையை பார்த்து நம்ம பயப்படக்கூடாது டுடே ஸ்கிரிப்டர் வி ஹவ் டேக்கன் ஃப்ரம் சாம்ஸ் ஒன் தேர்ட்டி நைன் ஃப்ரம் வேர்ஸ் செவன் டு எயிட் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த வண்டர்ஃபுல் ப்ராமிஸ் ஃபார் த கிறிஸ்டன் பிலீவர்ஸ் இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் அவர் ஒர்க் வித் த கிரைஸ்ட் சம்டைம் வி டென் டு டேக் the god's presence in our life we don't take it and we feel like we are orphans but this word encourages so much we are not the orphans we are the most high god we have as a father in our life but the last word when god spoke to when he ascended to heaven he spoke was ah uh, in hebrews he says i will never leave you nor forsake you and i'm always there with you let us open our bibles to psalms 139 verse 7 to 12 whither shall i go from thy spirit or whither shall i flee from thy presence if i ascend up into heaven thou art there if i make my bed in hell behold thou art there If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me if I say surely the darkness shall cover me even the night shall be light about me yeah the darkness hideth not from thee but the night shineth as the day the darkness and the light are both alike to thee amen uh, as in this fasting day god has put in our pastor's mind that we should meditate on the attributes of gods we pre- we already um, uh, meditated last week omniscience this week we are going to meditate about omnipresence and next week omnipotent this week as we are meditating upon the omnipresence that means is everywhere the god's presence is everywhere if you see in the verse 7 where can i go from your spirit where can i flee from your presence if you see there if you you can see go and flee both are same we cannot run away from his presence or we cannot escape from his presence because god's presence is so awesome is everywhere we cannot hide from his presence anywhere how far you can run away how far you can flee from his presence if you go to the east he is there if you go to the west he is there the psalmist is wonderfully explaining the god's presence in this chapter if you see if you go to the heaven god's presence is there if you go to the hell his presence is there where can you flee from his presence maybe we are doing something wrong maybe we are doing something maybe our partners they don't know maybe our children they don't know but god knows everything my church this evening time god is spirit his spirit is everywhere there is no limit for that is his spirit is literally everywhere and david understood it is wonderfully in verse 7 there is two parallel words go flee and the spirit of god and the presence of god in hebrew the translation for presence is panei panei means the face of god no matter wherever we go no matter how far we go from his presence that god is there he is a personal god church his face is upon us we cannot hide anything from him he is is a believers today is the question god put in our hand in our mind today church wherever you go whatever you do 
you have chosen generation the royal priesthood god wanted you to shine for the lord don't escape you, you from the presence of god because wherever you go the presence of god is following you hallelujah if you see verse 8 david says a general statement god is everywhere his face is upon us we cannot escape his presence and now he describes us now this is possible whatever far distance you go if you go to the verse 8 if i ascend up into heaven thou art there if i make my bed in hell behold thou art there heaven and depths heaven as a believers when we die we go to the god's presence hell where the fiery place where the sinners and the un- unforgiven people goes if we can see the distance heaven and ev- heaven and earth still god is there as a believers church we should we have a blessed assurance when we go to the heaven we have a blessed time there praising worshiping and rejoicing in his presence where if you think of the hell where the people goes with the unforgiveness and sin sinners where they go there is a lake of sulfur sulfur people will burn people are dying there but in 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 has a church of the living god we have a blessed assurance from the lord we are chosen and set apart for god's glory in our life every day in our life amen, amen. verse 9 if i take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me where the sun rises from the east If you see David wonderfully explained during the uh, David's time there is not much know about the galaxy there not much not known about the uh, the uh, the earth and the everything but he is just imagining the sun rises from the east and the west side is a mediterranean sea he can see the sun he wanted to go there but it's too far for him he doesn't know what is the distance from earth to the sun he thinks that it is too far if he wanted to go to the west side it is a mediterranean sea he doesn't know what is there other side of the sea he can see the mediterranean sea but he doesn't know what is the other side of the sea if you see the tabernacle the glory of shekina shines on the west side the entrance is on the east side and the uh, tabernacle the glory is uh, of shekina is on the west side david would have thought going towards the east must be going away from the lord going to the to the west side he must have thought that is going close to the lord we don't know what it is but i'm just can imagine that the david knows only the east west north south he's just looking at the sun rises in the east yeah that is east side i know their sun rises from there it's very far and we go to the left is a mediterranean sea but he doesn't know how far it is but he says he understood so well the presence of the god is everywhere when you go heavens god presence is their church Amen. even though church we go east west north south heaven depths the god's presence is there if you uh, see the sun circumstance surface it is 500.10 million square kilometers if we compare this uh, the circum uh, the earth measurements if you go to the sun it is just a million earths can fit into the sun how tiny is our earth how how tiny is the earth hallelujah so the 100 million earths can fit into the sun in this universe 
we travel from east if we if we wanted to travel from sun uh, earth to sun in the fraction of second he takes 100000 years we see how massive massive this universe is david understood he looked at the sun very far and he looked at the mediterranean sea he doesn't know what there is beyond the sea so earth is a small part of the universe galaxies the satellites so many and earth is a, a part a small bit of it in that 60 billion 6 billion people are live in that you and me is one that god is omnipresence we are a just part of dust in this universe in this galaxy we are just bit a dust but church god loves you amen he is not forgetting looking at entire world he is not forgetting that you are existing his face shines upon you that much he loves you he loves you so much that he stretches an on the cross and he died for you and me he sent his son only because he loves us he doesn't want to forsake us how how a little dust part we are imagine in this galaxy how small part we are in this world but just imagine how much he loves us he cares for us even though you are bit you are nothing but still he want to shine his light upon you and me he set each one of us apart he loves us he cares us sometimes when the situations sometimes when the circumstances comes we think that oh god is not there with you church today is the blessed assurance for you even though you are going through the valley of shadow of death even though you are rejoicing with all your blessings god is still with you amen he is holding you with his righteous hand he is comforting in his arms don't ever think that he is not looking at you he left you no church each one of our life god has a plan god has a purpose he will never leave you nor forsake you hallelujah, hallelujah. what a wonderful god we serve amen amen if you see verse 10 even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me as i explained to you before in this grand universe we are literally a part of us he loves us he cares us his face is upon us he'll never leave now forsake us amen, amen. church is uh, church god's hand is so strong he's upon us we should not fear when the storm comes when the trouble comes when the uh, temptation comes so many things in the world this world is not our um our uh, life our plan our life is the heavenly our target is go to the heaven we should not worry about the things of this world amen, amen. our fear our feelings our thinking all should be pleasing unto god we should fear of fear of the lord no darkness nothing can harm because god is his presence is always with us amen, amen. omnipresence god church amen. he is with us amen, amen. hallelujah let us open our bibles to amos chapter 9 verse 2 to 3 though they dig into hell then shall my hand take them though they climb up to heaven then will i bring them down and though they hide themselves in the top of carmel i will search and take them out thence and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea then will i command the serpent and he shall bite them amen omnipresence god is different in different places if you see heaven it is praising loving grace and blessings but if we see in the hell the absolutely terror the god's present is absolutely terror in the hell it is good for those who believe in jesus this is a good news 
that if you wanted to be in the heaven there is praises there is loving there is grace where you see the presence of god in the hell is absolutely terror is yours and my choice this evening time where you wanted to be hallelujah if if you see that uh, uh, amos chapter 9 verse 2 to 3 it says the grave is in the place of dead and the cam camel is the mountain both are symbols of inaccessibility that means you cannot reach them yeah no one can escape god's judgment church this is a good news for faithful and bad news for unbelievers whether we go to the mountains top or bottom of the sea god will find you god will find you his his judgment is upon those who are away from the lord almost explained judgment of the wicked as a monster of the sea hallelujah i don't think we need to study about that and we have wonderful god who has chosen each one of us to be in his presence and he wanted to shine his light upon us for god's faithful the judgment brings a new faith new peace new sp prosperity now now church the question is in your hand or you want to be judged or you want to be in the presence of the lord the positive sides of the omni presence is church love joy peace grace and mercy romans chapter 8 verse 38 9 for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come no height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of god which is in christ jesus our lord amen amen what a blessed assurance sisters brothers what a blessed assurance amen. wherever you go heights depths wherever you go his presence is there church as the believers God's presence is no matter how far we drifted. Sometimes as a human body, human mind, human flesh, many times in our lives, we are drifting away from God's presence. We are going slowly away, slowly away. Unless we realize and we come back to the presence of the Lord. But still, church, God called you. Before you formed in mother's womb, God knows your name. He called you by name. He never let you go away from your, his presence. Even though you go, sometimes we go apart through our fleshly desires, through our emotions, through our feelings. We Many times we nail the Jesus on the cross to our attitude, to our behavior, through our talks. Many times we nail Jesus on the cross, but still God says, I love you, my child. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. You are my chosen generation. You are the royal priesthood. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. What an amazing grace, church. His awesome presence is there on each one of our life. His light is shining upon us. His face is upon us. He never want to leave you nor forsake you. Today you may be going through some difficulties in your life. As Sister Nisha prayed, as the sun goes down, the sun comes up. There is a new day every day in our life. A new blessings, new covenant, new grace, new mercy. Every day in believer's life. The choice is in our hand this evening time. If it, the second part, let us move to the second part. No matter, darkness can hide us from, from or separate us from the God's presence. Verse 10, 11 and 12. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. 
Yeah, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. What is the function of darkness? Children know very well. Fun- darkness hides the things. Some of them are very afraid that mommy don't have the light, daddy don't have the light. Maybe some monster is in the cupboard. Or they don't like. They know if the light's off, there's something is going to be there. So the darkness hides the things. But the presence of the Lord gives us the clear picture. If you see in the Genesis what the Adam and Eve did after they sinned, they hid. But what God did, they found them. Hallelujah. Darkness cannot hide us from the gods. No matter sin, shame, guilt, whatever we are doing. We may be thinking that we can hide from our family, we can hide from the pastor, we can hide from our partner, husband, I hide from the ch- children. No. God is watching each one of us because he has chosen you and me. He has a greater plan in each one of our life. He never wants to leave you now for sick because God is love. His grace and mercy is always great. Our sins, whatever we must have done, knowingly, unknowingly, my brother and sister, is not big for him. He already sees that. He knows them. There is no point of hiding like Adam and Eve did. Come just as you are to the presence of the Lord. He is going to lead you. If you see it's, uh, children, especially Lydia and Avia, they play the hide and seek. They go to the fridge and they'll hide there and they say, find me. Yeah? You can see them, but they think they close the eyes and they think, oh, auntie, uncle is not seeing me. So, in the Christian life, same way, we are doing the sin and we are just closing our eyes and saying, find me. God already knows. He already knows that what we did. Don't play the hide and seek in, front, in the presence of the Lord Church. Just as a human, maybe we are doing them many wrong things, knowingly, unknowingly. All knowing God, just what he wants us to come just as you are. He wanted to comfort you. He wanted to love you. He wanted to give you that comfort. He never wants you to be struggled, never wants you to be disappointed, never wants you to be sick. He's always wonderful, amazing. What a mighty God we serve, church. Hallelujah. Don't hide from his presence. Anything, anything. He's there everywhere. There is no single place where God cannot go. He will lead us. He will take care of us. God is everywhere, church. No, no darkness cannot separate us from the love of God. It is in our hand this evening time, church. East, west, north, south, height or depth, nothing can separate us from the love of God, church. Let us submit ourselves to that awesome God. He wanted us, all of us, to take home. And he wanted to have every one of us his omnipresence in our life. God is a light. No darkness can come close to the dark light. Just call upon him, church. Omnipresence God. The wonderful God. Wonderful presence of the God who wants to love us, who wanted to give us comfort. Just what you are going through this evening time. Whatever the things which you and me have done this evening time. God is asking us, just come as you are. We just read that we have been called as light for the Gentiles. And we all know that we are from different states from India, from Sri Lanka, from Nepal and we are not in this UK by accident. It's according to the purpose of God, His will of God. God knew that this nation which was so closer to Him has gone away and it needed people. 
so god is bringing people from different places to this country so that we could reach out to the people who in, who are in this country